Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Color Maximite 2. I actually got mine in the other day. Um, I was very excited to get it in. What is the Color Maximite 2? It's a, it's a computer uh, that has an ARM processor right there. It's got a lot of RAM compared to old school computers like the Commodore 64, Apple II, etc. Um, it has basic built in, it boots up to a basic prompt, uh, and it's very easy to program. Even somebody like me, I can program this thing. And it runs very fast. It's a pretty cool concept. I first heard about it on the 8-Bit Guys YouTube channel. Uh, he did one back in July, about the Color Maximite 2. And that I think that video kind of made the popularity of this thing take off. Uh, they've been kind of hard to get. Uh, I did put, I had an order in with another company at first, uh, overseas actually, including the case and everything. And after over a month, they didn't fulfill it. I canceled that order. Ended up ordering, now your mileage may vary, uh, ended, ended up ordering from Circuit Gizmos website. This this exact thing right here, Color Maximite 2. I paid $99 plus some amount of shipping. I don't remember how much the shipping was, uh, but those guys got it out to me. I had it in my hands within a week of ordering. Um, it says on their website right now, they have four available. So uh, my experience with Circuit Gizmos was good. So anyway, what, what do you get? Well, you basically, uh, whenever you order that, I got just the board didn't come with anything else no other cables or anything and the way i have it connected right now um well it it has v, uh, vga output i have that going to this adapter uh, i also have the audio output going to this adapter then all that going out of this hdmi into my monitor uh, and i get the sound and everything it looks picture looks good this thing runs at 800 by 600 by default there are other graphics modes uh, that some people choose to use so it runs even faster as far as rendering graphics but the 800 by 600 works well uh, for me we'll turn it on in just a minute uh, the keyboard the standard usb keyboard is plugged in here and then finally the only other uh, cable connection is usb power right here this is like a uh uh, the, the kind of USB cord you would use with a printer, say. And I just actually plug that in right here. And it comes right up. You can see how long the boot takes. It'll take it a minute, too, for the monitor to recognize the signal. It's actually, it's actually pretty fast. Uh, this is what you boot to. And at this prompt, you have BASIC, MM BASIC. I have version 5.05 on this one. Um, and it's just like the old school computers where you could just start coding right from the start. Um, you, you use SD cards uh, as storage and it works great. And there are some nice features here. Like if you hit F1, you get the, um, you get like a directory interface and you can use your cursor keys to go through the directory. Um, I'll show you a few things here. So one cool thing, you can play MP3s and other uh, formats, WAV files, I believe, and I think a few other formats uh, straight from, that's an MP3 that's playing. You can play that straight from uh, the command prompt. I think the command is play space MP3s and then put the name of the file and double quotes and it starts playing <laughs> and it'll play in the background now some people have already um made some pretty cool ports i have one of wolfenstein here and there we can load it up there wolfenstein.bas so this is actually a basic program and you can kind of get an idea for how fast this thing will run this is basic code. <laughs> I'm not gonna 
play too much, but we'll play just for a second, just so you can kind of get an idea for how fast it can run basic code. And there's actually, you can see the frame, frame rate up there at the top. And it's running 9 to 10 frames per second, which on this game is okay. But yeah, this is pretty outstanding frame rates for basic code, right? So, that's just an example. And we could take a look also at the, the editor. The editor is pretty good. If you hit F4 on the keyboard... You get the editor and we can go in and look at, this is the actual code for uh, Wolfenstein. See all the includes up top and everything. Um, that's another thing, the documentation, the documentation for this um, computer is pretty good. I actually printed out the introduction uh, and read through most of it and I've referenced it a pretty good bit. This is like 70 something pages. This is basic stuff here. And then there's another manual that's even goes more in depth than this one does. Um, but yeah, this is the editor right here. It works pretty well. You can copy and paste and all that kind of good stuff. Um, I'll go back into the file manager right here. And go to the upper directory. I have this program here actually uh, I'm not a programmer, but I like to dabble, and I wrote a program for a clock, and it actually, like, I learned a lot, and it actually came out pretty good. Uh, set system time, 16.59, enter, and then it'll just show the clock, and uh, yeah, we got the hours, minutes, seconds there, and to show control C, escapes. And we can go into the editor again, and here's my code. And uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun. This is actually, this took me like two to three hours <laughs> to do this code. Uh, but again, I'm not a programmer. But uh, I'm very excited about this little computer. This is actually how it was when I was a kid, except this thing is actually way easier to use. It's all on one board. It's, uh, I guess it's kind of expensive, a hundred bucks. You can actually buy the, the PCB and build this thing up yourself. If that's what you wanna do, you can do it for really cheap. I took kind of the lazy way. Uh, I don't have a case for it, although I'm gonna get one or make one, one of the two. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this so far. There, uh, there are, there's a Facebook page for it. There's a forum online for it. And, uh, oh, the other thing that's really cool about this, if you look at these pens on the back here, uh, these are like, I think it's 20 or more. No, it's more than that. But it, those are IO pens. And you can program those just like you would on, say, an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi. And if you look in the manual, they actually... Like I said, this one is a little more uh, basic stuff, but look, it's got all kind of information about uh, I, I squared C communication and uh, using, using all this stuff. It's got 3.3 volt and five volts available on these pens here. And I'm looking forward to messing around with that too. So uh, yeah, this is a lot of fun. Thought I would share it. Uh, I, like I said, I just got it. I've already got a program up and running and this thing is super easy to mess with and just tons of fun. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.